What is going on, guys? It's Short here because another Modern Warfare 3 mob, and this time it's a kill confirm match on a map bootleg using an MP5 with silencer and a kick proficiency. And guys, this gameplay is pretty good because, well, I'm using the MP5, which is uh, not really the best gun in the game, but not really the worst. I mean, I have to say that the PM9 is probably the worst submachine gun, and this one is probably going to be the second worst, but, uh, you know, it, it is growing on me, and then I heard the that uh, on the Facebook page for Infinity Ward that, uh, you know, the game design team went to the leaders of the, you know, Mono for 3 and said uh, that they're going to give a, maybe, perhaps, a buff to the MP5, you know, 1887, M16, some other guns. So, uh, that'd be pretty cool because this gun is really good, like, right now. I mean, not that really, not really that many people use it, but uh, it's a good gun, and if they boost it up, maybe it might, uh, you know, make more people use it. I think it's a really good gun, and uh, you guys should go test it out. Uh, my only, like, little tip is to put on kick because this thing has a lot of recoil, just to say that right now. Anyways, getting on to my main topic, which is kind of not, kind of a follow-up and kind of not, is to my last video of the Spaz 12 mode, which uh, I am thankful for all the support that has gotten on that video. I am just blown away by how many views and how many comments that thing has. I mean, yeah, a lot, a lot of the comments are me responding to you guys, but you guys posted up a lot of comments and... <laughs> I like to reply to my all my comments. Uh, I know I didn't used to back in the day, but now I always do. And uh, it's just great to hear you guys' feedback on, you know, my gameplays and stuff like that. So thank you for all the support in that video, and let's keep it going. Maybe it could be my... Uh fourth 1,000 viewed video or yeah fourth 1,000 viewed video and you know who knows we could keep it up so thank you all for that but uh, in that game or yeah in that gameplay I talked about uh, E3 and my expectations for it and I'm just going to tell you what uh, my thoughts are on E3 so far as you guys know it did start on Monday and that's where they had Black Ops 2 gameplay they had the uh, Sony press conference and the Microsoft press conference everything happened on Monday so and Tuesday let's just say that so Basically, my highlights of E3 so far have basically been like, you know, Black Ops gameplay or the Black Ops 2 gameplay. Uh, it looked pretty good, let's just say that. I mean, they did, you know, the graphics, you know, Call of Duty isn't really meant for the graphics, just to say that. Uh, they, You know, you meant to just play that high action multiplayer gameplay instead of, you know, looking at the graphics and being like, you know, overwhelmed by the graphics. That's what uh, Battlefield 3 and Medal of Honor 4, uh, I mean, Medal of Honor Warfighter looked uh, pretty incredible, let's just say that. And Battlefield 3 DLC looks pretty amazing too. But, uh,. You know, we saw some Black Ops 2 gameplay. It looked pretty good. I do like the weapons. Uh, you know, that one weapon that the guy used on, uh, you know, that one mission looked pretty cool. And also, I like the, you know, the features that they put in where you can choose the way you go. Like, I think in, uh, you know, the gameplay demo, you can either snipe or repel on, like, that freeway. And, you know, I think it has two endings. I'm not sure. Or you might do the same thing. I'm not sure. Because I saw the one part where he repelled down. He went in, like, this FA-38 and started flying around Los Angeles and started shooting down stuff. And I saw the other one repel, and he went through this, like, mall-type area, you know, outside mall, and he started, like, you know, just killing people. And I'm like, huh, is this, like, something new where they, like, include two ways on how to play a campaign or something? I don't know. But uh, that was pretty cool to see about Black Ops 2. I mean, that I heard that they're going to, like, maybe release some zombies or a zombie teaser trailer or something. So that probably will be in the future in, like, uh, you know, a couple of days or, you know, probably last day of E3. Um, I'm, I'm excited for that because zombies is going to be huge. They already said it's going to be, like, the biggest they've ever done. So I'm really looking forward to zombies. Also, the game that I was impressed by the most or these two games that I was impressed by the most is Medal of Honor Warfighter because that game looked amazing with Frostbite 2 engine because, I don't know, I think EA is really trying to step up Medal of Honor. I mean, Medal of Honor 2010, it was a good game, but uh, it felt like not supported. You know, it, you know, it was a good multiplayer game, but it seemed rushed. You know, it, I don't know, it didn't feel like all together. I don't know. And uh, I don't know, I guess they were focusing on Battlefield 3 at the time, and, you know, they really are supporting Battlefield 3, that's their big game right now. So, uh, I don't know, Medal of Honor Warfighter looks pretty good, and I definitely might be, more than likely, probably going to be buying that game, and probably uploading some commentaries in the future on that game. So, uh, that looks pretty cool. And also, this game that I don't know uh, that that many people are going to get... But it's called Watch Dogs, and that game looks pretty sick. The graphics look insane. Uh, the gameplay looks insane. Like, it's like, a, um, I don't know. I'm, a lot of people have been saying it's a cross between GTA, Max Payne, 
and something else. I don't know. But I think it's a whole different new game. Uh, you have this, like, guy who's, like, I don't know, hacking everything, and everything is connected. I don't know. It's a really cool gameplay trailer, gameplay demo that they had released at E3, and I really recommend uh, you guys go check it out. And, guys, look at this MOBA here. I call it in, and I get uh, one kill with it. It's probably one of my mo worst MOBs ever because they rage quit, and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was probably one of my worst MOBs ever, only getting one kill, but uh, not as bad as my other friend. My friend Dark Star got uh, a mob, and then uh, <laughs> the whole enemy team rage quit. He didn't get any kills with his mob. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like, a comment, and please subscribe. And thank you all for the support on my last video. I really do appreciate it. So, anyways, see you guys later. I'm Saints, and I'm out.